Hello. We have uh, six tomato types to taste test. And so, let's see, there's calf heart, red. Um, what's next? The, well, I don't know, it's German, so sorry. I, I don't want to butcher that, but like golden, golden, uh, Schoening and Koning and yeah, Golden King, I guess. Uh, anyways, <laughs> um, sorry, I meant to show like calf heart and then the Golden King. Okay, uh, and Kentar with a K. No one knows any info about this, it's like a pearly red, pinkish. Um, then we've got Marmande, um, Oranz, and Red Mustang. <laughs> so uh, we start with the calf heart, red. We've tried the pink one before. I don't know what the difference is. This one has like no juice. In it. Just meat. <laughs> like those holes that for the seeds, but those holes that had no juice in it, just seeds. Most dry seed almost. Mm. Yeah, let's see. Yeah. Mm. A lot of meat. Very, yeah. So it's not your your sweet, juicy kind of tomato. It's not sweet. No. It's just full of um, a bit like a little bit earthy, surprisingly, mm. for a red tomato. Can I eat this too. Mhm. Mm There's one that's not quite as ripe, but. Mm got to get them before um, the mice do. <laughs> We've been having a problem with uh, stuff taking our tomatoes so we don't we don't want to deal mm. with that. Really good. Hmm. Yeah. Like it's not sweet at all. It tastes to me more like a vegetable than <laughs> a <Yeah>. fruit. <laughs> What vegetable? I don't know. Some zucchini. With a tiny, 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 tiny hint of some sort of herb, maybe. It'd be really good with salt. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, Let's see this one too. Mm -hmm. mm. Just eat it. Okay. So this one, I just cut it, you can see the seeds. It's like those holes for the seeds and now usually it's full of juice and then other tomatoes, but... Let's see, squeezing it, no juice. There's a big gap with the seeds and... It's a lot of paste. Yeah, I mean, it is a little bit salty to me. I yeah. mean, yeah, like your more earthy, salty thing. Not like yeah. a black tomato by any means, but... It's really good if you like a non-sweet tomato. Yeah, so if you're looking for red, not juicy, seedy, and doesn't taste like that, you know, you like your more... If you if you lean towards the more black type of tomato taste, but you want a red tomato, I think that could work. Um, a bit savory. Um, let's see what's next. Kentar. Kentar with a K. <laughs> um, the, these. Like I said, they're like a... I can't find information really. There was only one site where I saw a little something. 
And it just said, didn't even say the size or anything, just that, you know, they were kind of a pearly, orangish, pink, red, mm -hmm. <laughs> somewhere between that. Yes, yeah, they're light, light orange. Hmm. Yeah. Like you see some pearly pink in it or something. Mm -hmm. But um, anyway. Let's see. Hmm. It did say something about a slight flowery taste and I I definitely see what they mean by that. Let's see. Especially the very center where it's you know the white part. Big small here. Sweet and savory a bit of flour or something. Mm. Thick skin. It's chewy. It's not a particularly sweet tomato. No, but not it's really. It's still sweet a bit. Mm -hmm. It's not like acidic. A mild tomato. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, that was interesting. That, by the way, that one particular one is quite prolific. It grows really long. Like, we couldn't contain it, actually. Mm. It was, it was kind of like one of our longest tomato plants, and then it started producing early, so. And then we've got Marmonda. This is a Spanish supposed to be beef tomato but in Sweden you know don't really get very big um, I think you can even sometimes find them in the store here but hmm. it's not sweet at all not not at all very mild Slight savory, slight fruity, but not much. Very, very little. It's very buttery, mm -hmm. like in the texture. Yeah, really, like very mild and buttery. Mm -hmm. So if you don't like the kind of, um, what do you say? <laughs> Um, yeah, I can't think of it. Like, um, I <laughs> can't think in English. <laughs> um, kind of a starchy texture. Yeah. That's what I'm looking for. If you don't like that in a tomato, which some of them really are like that, especially store bought ones, if you don't like that, you won't like this. But, I mean, it's. It's a prolific tomato. I mean, we got bundles, like bundles of five or six on them in Sweden. So if you're having trouble growing a, a slicer size red tomato, I would still recommend it. But it wasn't that delicious. No. <laughs> it was very store-bought taste. No. So. Um, moving on, or did you have anything else to say? No. Moving on, then there's Orans. Okay. This one is a little smaller than the other ones on the way, so... Um, wait, there's a couple more seeds here. This one is a lot like the calf heart. It's, there's like no juice. Mm. All like dry paste. Yeah. But then again, this one came from a plant 
that was on its last leg, literally. Yeah. And it gave everything it had. There is some juice. Mm -hmm. it, it literally gave everything it had to uh, ripen this one tomato. And so that's also why it's smaller as well. Uh, all the others on the way, the other plants that are producing them, it's a very prolific producer, by the way. Um, all those, their their tomatoes are are quite a bit bigger, actually, uh, probably twice as big. But this is the one we have to, available to try. So let's see how it tastes. Wow, that's really good. Yeah. It doesn't taste like a tomato. It tastes like tastes like an orange. Yeah. <laughs> Citrus. Uh huh. Citrus leaning towards orange. Like, that's crazy. Sweet citrus. Yeah. A bit acidic. Um, thick skin. I'm still chewing the skin. It smells like a normal like, fruit. Uh, like, like what? The juice and the seeds smell like. It's an orange. Yeah, maybe. yeah, I think so. It smells like an exotic fruit. Like, like passion fruit. Hmm. Yeah, I smell. So it's not exactly orange. A little it's bit like, like mango, actually. Yeah, mango, uh, some exotic fruit. And yeah, I think... Like Again. The smell is definitely kind of mango-like mixed with orange or I, probably some Asian yeah, that's citrus like, fruit. That's, that's what it smells like. Yeah, it smells like mango juice. Mm -hmm. That was really, really good. We made fun of this plant before because we're like, Orans, that's a stupid name. <laughs> mm. But that's so far like probably my favorite tomato. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Mm. Like that was good. Okay, so then we, I skipped over this one. No, I didn't. No, never mind. We did that one. Uh, last one. Mm. No, it's these. Yeah, I didn't. We didn't eat them. Oh, I just mentioned them and didn't eat it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry you guys. <laughs> I I mentioned this one and skipped over it. Mm -hmm. Uh the golden no, I didn't eat. All right, you bloopers. Said golden king. Yeah, that was that was in the beginning. Okay, you guys. But I somehow skipped over it. I was trying to do it alphabetical order and uh messed up here, but the Golden King, Golden a Kung, yeah, Kuning, Shuning, and I don't know in German. I'm sorry, that was too long ago. <laughs> but anyway, very thick wall. Mm. This thing is not focusing. Um, Light yellow. Nice. Th these made very pretty when, well, one split, okay. Yes, but there's nice big clusters uh, with one of our earlier ones. So let's see how it tastes. It tastes like a yellow flower. Those yellow flowers that we see everywhere that we can eat, what are they called? <laughs> These yellow flowers that are everywhere that you can eat in salads and stuff. That could be anything. Yeah. Musk. What's that? Dandelion? Yeah. It's still mild. Mm -hmm. Um
it's not exactly the best uh, yellow tomato I've had. Mm. It's probably better with the juice and the seeds. But Maybe, but it was... It's mild. I think it was along a commercial type of flavor for a yellow tomato in my opinion. So I, I mean, kind of like the Marmondo. If you're just wanting a nice, prolific, quick yellow slicer, I'd go with that because it's pretty dependable. Um, still good flavor, but I wouldn't like pick it as one of my favorites. So, <laughs> we got a last one here called Red Mustang. I always thought this one was cool since I first started looking like for what to grow. Long red tomato. So let's see. Wow, that's a lot of flavor. Mm -hmm. I think it's quite acidic. Yeah, you really take skin. It tastes a bit like a steak at first. <laughs> yeah. It was a special flavor. Mm -hmm. But then uh, in the end it tastes like red tomato. Like sweet. Acidic sweet flavor, like the aftertaste on the back of your tongue. Mm. It's good though. I mean I don't mind acidic. Mm. I think that was pretty good. Red Mustang, because it tastes like meat steak from a Mustang. <laughs> <laughs> but at first God. there was a weird flavor that was like a steak to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe, but I'm pretty sure they mean Mustang the car. Because <laughs> yeah. it's like a sausage shape like the Mustang. Mm. But, uh... And because it's fast. It's a pretty fast producer, um, relatively speaking, compared to most of our tomatoes. Maybe I just got a weird piece. No, I tasted that too. <clears throat> I don't know about steak, but it was somewhere along that line. Mm. Like, yeah. So, so yeah, that was six types. Wasn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes. Um, and yeah, so hope you enjoyed hearing about them. We're still major noobs at tomato tasting. We don't know anything, but we figured, you know, since we have them on hand uh, and we have the chance to share, then we do our best and uh, hope that it helps somebody decide if they want to grow it or not or you know just if they're curious so yeah so thanks for watching <laughs> bye bye